Hi, this is Ryan from Masuva. For Concrete 5 5.7, we released an add-on that integrates Snipcart. Now, Snipcart is a third-party shopping cart and checkout system. It makes it very easy to add e-commerce functionality to your uh, Concrete 5.7 website. I've already explained uh, and demonstrated Snipcart in another video, but today what I wanted to do was explain another add-on that we've developed that adds the idea of memberships to the Snipcart package. When I talk about memberships, really what I'm talking about is the idea of a customer being able to purchase a particular product and then from that automatically being assigned a user login and on that user login they can be placed into uh, one or more user groups. What that means is that we can then take advantage of Concrete 5's advanced permission system and we can set up protected areas of a website or areas where we download um, files. Um, digital downloads effectively. So what I'm going to do today is do a quick demo of how you might actually set that up using this add-on. It's also going to go through some advanced permissions in Concrete 5 uh, which uh, you might be interested in as well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that advanced permissions are turned on and that's found in the system settings here. Go to advanced permissions. I've already hit the button here but that's what you would need to do. The next thing we need to do is we'll just make sure that the add-ons are installed and I've got both Snipcart and the new Memberships add-on installed there. When this Memberships add-on is installed, there's an extra Membership Configuration menu item underneath the Snipcart here. We'll have a look at that in a moment. But first, what we, what we want to do here is we want to set up uh, a place on the website where um, we can download some eBooks. I'm going to do it a nice and quick way through the site map. I'm going to create hide these pages here. I'm going to create a, um, a page called My Downloads and I'm just going to publish that and I'll visit this page and just add a couple of blocks just to set this up. It won't take too long. So my downloads here, quick header, and on this page I'm going to place some file blocks to the files I actually want to make available. So I've already got a few of these um, on the page. I'll uh, I'll just add this in. I've got a quick start guide here for five seven. So concrete five. 57 quick start guide. Okay, so there's our there's the fundamental uh, download page. At the moment, though, with the permissions that we've got on this page, uh, anyone would be able to see this this page, and they'd also be able to download this file. But this is not what we want. So I'm going to go back to the site map, and I'll go to my downloads page. And what I want to do here is go to permissions, and I want to change the permissions for this page so that only uh, people who actually have a login can view the page. We just want it hidden by default. So I've set the assign permissions to manually. I'll go to view and I'm going to get rid of guest permissions and I'm going to add in here a special group and the group is registered users. So that's it there. So straight away that's going to protect that page from people who aren't logged in but that's not going to protect the actual file on the page and to do that what we what we would do is we create a user group and we'll say that any only people who are in that user group can actually download that that file so we'll go into members and we'll go into user groups and I'm going to create a new group here called uh, quick start so um, named it there. What I might also do is, and this is sort of an optional thing, this comes down to how you'd like to set up your, your system, but we can remove that person from that, that group. So it might be that we want to give um, the, the person who's doing the, the purchasing 30 days to download their files and we'll add that there. But that hasn't actually associated with the, um, with the file. So I can go to the file manager and this is my quick start guide here. Now files themselves also have permissions, and I'm going to change. I'm going to change to uh, the the view file permission. I'm going to remove guest, 
and I'm going to add in the new permission that I just created. So go into group, and I'll call, and that one's quick start. Right. So what that means is going back to uh, this page here. This link here and the actual access to download that PDF is only going to be made available to, to users that are in that particular user group. So the last step is that we need to actually make it that someone who buys access to, to this PDF gets put in the group. So I'll go to back to my home page and I'm going to add in a Snipcart product block. I've got one here. And I'm going to call that uh, the product code of this. I might just call it quick. And it's the concrete five quick start, quick start guide. Now, when it's a digital download, we, we don't want to ship that product. So we need to turn that off. We will give that a price and we'll say that's $5. We want to make a maximum cart quantity of one because uh, if you're buying access to the same thing twice doesn't make sense we also want to prevent uh, changes from being made to the quantity so we'll add that okay so that's our product and I've already set up before I've already set up a cart that will appear when we add that so we can test that out there and there's our product we see our cart in the background is starting to appear I'm just going to remove that for now the final step is connecting this product with the user group that were created and this is where this new menu item comes into play if we go into membership configuration we've got um, a, a list of products that are associated with user groups so I'm going to put in that quick which is the product ID I had and I'm going to add them to this quick start uh, user group there so that's what that's what's going to happen the, uh, the person when they purchase that product they will be sent a, um, a a login a new login for them but the final thing is we we want to send that person automatically and we need to tell the system where's our actual page that we want someone who's a new member to actually land on and this is what this option is here so that's my downloads and that's that's pretty much it that's ready to go the only other thing here I'll mention, and I won't I won't demonstrate this, but there's an option in the actual Snipcart administration, the dash, their actual dashboard, where we need to put in a callback URL, and that's the callback URL there, and that's what communicates back to the shop, uh, back to your site that we need to create that user account. So I think I've hit save there, and let's test it out. Okay, so I'll log out. And we can't get to the downloads there. If I try and go to my downloads here, you'll see I get presented with a login, which is which is exactly what we want. If someone else has already purchased something and they go to a bookmark page, they can put in the username and get to their the resources there. But let's purchase this uh, this guide. We'll go through the checkout. I'll just put in some test data here. Now what happens with um, with the, the package is that it does use your email address that sent it in to create the new um, uh, the new user account. So I'm just going to put in one here. Go through, and this is in demo mode. Place the order. Order comes through, and within a second I've been redirected to my downloads page, and I've also got the permissions to download the PDF. So that's what I wanted. After, and I think I sent 30 days, this link here will disappear off the page. I might want to add some extra um, notes on here about you know 30 days to download your, your downloads. But from here, we could expand it as much as we wanted. We could have a whole section of a website that's controlled with permissions. We could have multiple different products that have different user groups, all based on Concrete Vibes permission system. And at the end of the day, I'll see if I can bring the email up here. We get an email, something like this, that says, thank you for your order. And here's that link to my downloads page. And here's our um, username and password there. So um, that's the whole system in its entirety. If you have any questions, please let me know. Cheers.